Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great evening. So the hive, the hive corn price, it pumped up today. I think it went as high as about 79 cents, something like that. We had this happen the other week with the hive corn price. I think it might have got as far as uh, the uh, 90 cent range on nearly a dollar. And um, it came down came down a great deal it came all the way down to about the low 40 cent range and today has went up over 40 50 percent and it's around excuse me it's around um it was somewhere around at the height of around about 79 cents or something like that so what i did last time that happened was i was able to lock in my gains and stable coins right um, and, uh, you know, with these projects, um, you know, there are always going to be, um, you know, questions as to what do you do? Uh, yes, the, the, the coin price is going up, but if you don't lock those gains away some kind of way, that price realization for you may never come to fruition because in several hours, the price could drop. It could, the next day it could be down to where it was before. We don't know any of that, but what we do know is we have an opportunity now to uh, do something, and I did, and um, the last time I was able to lock uh, all my gains around the 85 cent mark. Now, it was the right move because the uh, hive hasn't gotten back to 85 cents since then, um, and uh, you just have to decide, um, you know, how you've analyzed the hive project, where, you, where you're at with it. Some people believe it could go a lot higher. Uh, I believe that Hive is dealing with a, a, a large amount of inflation each year, and it's going to be very difficult to do that. Now, that can change, but uh, it hasn't changed yet. And, uh, you know, obviously, um, the, the way that the Hive project is structured uh, with blogs and, and the earning of the blogs, and then they get the uh, revenue from that, and they sell the revenue, uh, some people do, and some people lock it up and her hive, hive power and what have you. But uh, uh, what the Hive project feels like, feels to me like, is it certainly feels like a earning project. Now, this is different from what you're gonna get with your Bitcoins and your Ethereums and, and these type projects because uh, you, you, you have where people can create these, um, get paid for these blogs that they write every day, some write several a day. And uh, they're they're earning this money on it, and then they're you know they're selling it right, so they can just create more and more to blogs. Um, now that I, I believe that's creating a lot of inflation, and uh, I believe that's going to create some some price restraints for a hive, and but that's just how it works, um, and uh, that's been uh, what's been driving people to to use products like that, and it is an interesting project, but. Some of the errors I, I think I see with the Hive Coin project, what works better for it is would be something like a stable coin. And I, it, it's an easy explanation as to why that would be. Uh, first of all, if you're creating some type of content, uh, think of it like if you're being paid on a job. And what if I were to tell you something like, uh, well, okay, when your paycheck rolls around this Friday, uh, you've done the same amount of work. But I think I'm going to pay you half of what I normally pay you. I think I'm going to pay you a tenth of it. Or I may pay you twice as much. I just don't know. I'll decide when Friday comes around. Well, many people would choose to have a more steady paycheck, correct? You would want to base your life around what you think the value of your work's going to be. And, and so um, in earning projects like what you get high, I think what's become quite clear to me is that some type of payment in a stable coin would make more sense. Now, some people may agree with that. They may not agree with that. I think they are. They have uh, what is called the hive back dollar. And I think they're working on that right now in order to uh, try to improve it. I think it's going to be set up in a way you can earn, have some, some earnings from it. You know, payouts are better than your bank gaining interest from locking it up in a savings account. And those are those are interesting ideas. They, they certainly are. And certainly many stable coins exist. Uh, I'm kind of pretty much talking about the Hive Engine Exchange right now. You know, 
uh, in, in relation to hive that's on there and, and people trading on there. Uh, but this can apply to, you know, pretty much uh, uh, any, you know, any person using a hive coin. But in situations where the high price spikes up like that, some some strategies would be to get it in a stable coin. Or if you're earning off a blog, some people would prefer to earn in a stable coin, meaning that they can pretty much see that the value of their posts are going to be, you know, uh, the payouts are going to, you know, the, the money is going to be stable when it's time to get paid for the post. So that kind of makes a lot of sense to people to, to want something like that. But if you look at like the Bitcoin MYK back now, this is our project now. This is kind of, you know, it kind of reminiscent a little bit of high, but it's a lot of differences. Like, for example, if you look at something like the the, the, the hive back dollar, it's going to be paying out, you know, from the inflation. OK, uh, one of the big issues with that, what is the value of the inflation rate? Right. What is the inflation rate? And uh, uh, who knows? Nobody knows, right? So they're they're paying it out. Um, we don't really know what that's going to be. Some people say they know. Most people agree they don't know. Um, and it's a similar thing with the Bitcoin NYK back dollar. But the difference is the Bitcoin NYK back dollar has this relational value to the amount of accounts it has and how much the accounts grow month by month. So there's this relational value to how many more new users are coming in, who's doing what, who's buying more tokens, um, that kind of creates our inflation on the Bitcoin and YK, uh, Bitcoin and YK back dollar. And what you have then is you have uh, not only uh, a pretty much a, a, a cryptocurrency with a stable, pretty much a stable price, but you have one that uh, is increasing its buying power. So that's kind of like saying the same thing, like, uh, okay, well, if the value's being inflated, right, in the Bitcoin and YK back dollar, then that is to suggest now you have more spending power, you have more Bitcoin and YK back dollars. And that's that's how it correlates with that. I'm not 100% sure how the high back dollar works, but I do know, you know, if they're just printing uh, this inflation out, but there is no growth, there is no more users, there's no more new money coming in and so on and so forth, then... Yeah, you're going to be printing out more money, but that doesn't mean much to the, you know, to the buying power. You might print out more, but you might have less buying power, right? So with the Bitcoin MYK back dollar, I, I, I think it kind of addresses that in that way. The other part is the Bitcoin MYK back dollar is part of another project. They're pretty much one the same, but the Bitcoin MYK token is the native token to the social network where the accounts come in. You can advertise with the token. You can promote with the token. Uh, it's part of a Bitcoin fork. It has a UBI program, Universal Basic Income program, uh, based into it, which also creates the ultimate airdrop or the ultimate mass adoption vehicle. Right? We we already give away uh, many of our tokens for marketing and promotion. We call them airdrops. Universal Basic Income is the ultimate airdrop. Right? So what that does is that builds up your network, right? It builds your network up. And uh, uh, with universal basic income being such a hot topic right now to envision uh, our network having a million people, a billion people, doesn't sound far-fetched, right? It, it Freemium services, when I'm speaking of freemium services, I'm talking about people who use products and services seemingly is no cost up front to the end user but from their attention value and just being there they create value in the platform we find a way to extract that value and recirculate it back into the cryptocurrency now that uh pretty much is the token you get in the event that the Bitcoin NYK back dollar market isn't solvent because we also get that a lot. We get, well, how's this being made stable? Who's making it stable? Where's the value come from? And so that's that's how we're able to derive that value. And in addition to that, uh, we also think it's more pure, a uh, more a uh, purely based cryptocurrency. And I don't like to use the word stable coin. I like to use back dollar because. The differences are 
Uh, this is backed by another cryptocurrency, whereas you look at something like Tether, it's backed by the US dollar, but isn't that kind of oxymoronic that you would back a cryptocurrency by a fiat currency, right? Remember, a fiat currency isn't really backed by anything. So that's a little bit oxymoronic. What the Bitcoin MYK project is saying is that the Bitcoin MYK back dollar is backed by the new accounts, the networks, the people there, right? The people there. And, and, and there is no manipulation of the dollar similar to what you can get in the uh, uh, your, your normal governments and, and, and economic systems. Um, all that being said, there are, of course, risks. And, and what are the risks? The risks are the Bitcoin and YK backed dollar market itself could collapse. Uh, the Bitcoin and YK backed dollar tokens could be could then be redeemed for the Bitcoin and YK token. But the Bitcoin and YK token could have very low liquidity or it could begin to collapse. So there is no such thing as a safe investment, guys. And uh, uh, what the Bitcoin and YK backed dollar is proposing, especially in a situation where you might have something like a big spike and a run up in Hive. Let's let's run a scenario like today. Hive goes up uh, 79 cents. You're on the Hive Engine Exchange. There are no stable coins here. Uh, you can try to do arbitrage. You can try to send it to another exchange. You try to get it to a stable coin. But that's taking time. Every moment you're wasting, uh, the price is starting to drop. You're having a hard time locking in your gains. If you're on Hive Engine, you can get your, your Hive very quickly into the Bitcoin MYK back dollar. Now, if the price of Hive goes down, you've now been able to buy more Bitcoin MYK back dollars in that short period of time that you couldn't buy before, right? Again, it's not risk-free, uh, but uh, your risk at this stage is if Hive is at 70, 80 cents and it drops 50%, those realized gains are gone. You can't get them back, right? You can only think about you had that opportunity and you lost it. Or you can attempt to put it in the Bitcoin and YK back dollar. That way you can lock in those gains in a perfect world, provide everything goes right. Now, so far, everything is going well with the Bitcoin and YK back dollar. It seems to be quite solvent. Uh, um, you know, but there are no guarantees, right? It is backed by the Bitcoin MYK token. Bottom line, if you don't believe in the Bitcoin MYK back token, or I'm sorry, the Bitcoin MYK token, then you probably shouldn't believe in the Bitcoin MYK back dollar because that's what it's saying. That is where your, uh, uh, your protection is. Uh, if the Bitcoin MYK back dollar, the confidence in the market itself fails. Oh, excuse me, guys. Uh -oh. Speaking about falling, my, my mic just fell. <laughs> so if you understand all that, there are risks, but these are calculated risks. And how the project's performing so far, it could be the difference in you keeping a hold of those gains you lost or, 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 or losing them, right? Also, if you're on something like Hive Engine or, or you know, or something like that, and, and you want to try Bitcoin and YK back, just try it out, and you got your portfolio, it is a good idea. It is safe to try with a portion of your portfolio you can risk. It could be 5%. It could be 1%. But you can test out the Bitcoin and YK back dollar project in a way that you can protect yourself and, and have an ease of mind uh, about what happens if uh, the Bitcoin and YK back dollar isn't solving and it can't protect your gains, right? If uh, you redeem to the Bitcoin and YK token and you can't get your money out or something to that effect. And I'm just saying all of this because it's all a risk and uh, well, you got to come in here, uh, you know, you know, with that attitude and with that mindset. Uh, also, you know, if you're you got your money locked in a Bitcoin and YK back dollar, it goes up um, a great deal. Um, I, you know, I would imagine you're going to be able to get some of your money out, if not all. And if that were to happen, you're probably going to still be protected a great deal on the way down from the 
cushion of the extra Bitcoin and YK back tokens you were able to buy. So I would say, especially starting off with Bitcoin and YK back dollars, start off very conservative. Get the hang of it. Buy a few tokens. See if you like it. They're only a few bucks each. And uh, uh, see how it goes for you. See how it goes for you. And if in the event something like that happens and the token has to be put to the test, if it works out great for you, fantastic. If not, you're prepared for that. You risk what you could afford to lose. Either way, you probably gained, uh, gained or lost the, the high realization of the spike in price and so on and so forth, right? Um, it is possibly a solution for that, you know? And, and again, I, I want you to also consider all those disclaimers that you can't lose all your money. All right, I'll always come into cryptocurrency with that mindset. But that said, very interesting. It's been working for me uh, with me, how I've been locking away some of my hive games. And um, you know what I mean? I, and my, my thought process when the price of high goes up, when it gets, it usually doesn't get too far either above a dollar or something like that. So, you know, your worst case scenario, I think if you try to use a strategy like the Bitcoin MYK back dollar, is uh, uh you know you might let's say you lock in around 80 cents it goes to a dollar so that was 20 cents additional uh 20 percent additional um value you could have gained but uh you protect it potentially losing uh you know all of your gains right uh you know or if it fell down it fell down um you know back to the, the price point it was at now you're back to square one uh, if you got in Bitcoin and YK back dollar, now you have so much more liquidity uh, in the Bitcoin and YK back dollar and, and, and the tokens were purchased at that price while Hive was up. So that, that's very, uh, very much something you should definitely consider. And uh, I think, like I said, they are working on, um, you know, stable coins with the Hive, uh, with Hive um, engine, so to speak. But I don't really see a lot of people using them right now. A lot of people just trying to, um, you know, see what happens. But uh, if you're like me and you just can't stand to see the price of Hive go up so much and you lose all that money <laughs> that quick in a few hours or the next day, then this may be an option for you. And it may just be a good idea to try it anyway because there are some great things with uh, Bitcoin MYK, uh, the, the back pro uh, Bitcoin MYK, the token, the project, and the Bitcoin MYK back dollar because as the network grows, there's more inflation into the Bitcoin MYK back dollar. So it, it acts more like a, uh, a interest gaining uh, token, right? Um, and so it's like you're you're not just letting your money sit parked there. You are earning uh, what would be ideally uh, or in essence uh, interest on, you know, on that on those tokens. Right. And paid in the Bitcoin and YK back dollar redeemable for the Bitcoin and YK token. Or you can just trade in the Bitcoin and YK back dollar market. But uh, that's all I want to bring you. I'm sure you're going to find this useful. Uh, where a lot of people already have, um, and uh, I don't think it will be an exception with you all, but you should try it out. But that's all I want to say in this video. If you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and until next time, as always, take care.